Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, we defeated some digi heads right here. One had a shield and stuff, and we did a bit of a gameplay messing about. There's some interesting gameplay mechanics in this. It's going to take a while to perfect, but I like the idea of it. But we did actually make it possible to get this thing here. So let's have a look at it. So amplification soul distortion was drawn from the soul remnant. What exactly does that do for me? Can I speak to you? I, I mean, I assume I've sp spoke to you already. Did it really go up that easy? Oh. Oh, it did! Oh. I didn't expect it, that to happen. That's weird. Can I speak to you to get it up straight up to three? It, is that a yes? I could just do that? That feels kind of pointless. Uh, it's just blah 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 blah. So I just keep speaking to you until I get what I need. Right, really? I could just go up to people and spam X. Really? That seems wrong. Profile. So their trauma with no self confidence, it's easy to get depressed. Which is to one day be more hopeful of the future. You ever get a confidence boosting doll? Ah. So that's what I've got to do is like get them to the point where I understand their trauma. And then find something to actually help them out. Okay, so a confidence boosting doll. Find the doll somewhere in Papico. Whatever Papico is. I'm assuming it's the town or something? Okay, so at least it's like not just spam speaking to them. We actually have to do something to get the personality trait, etc. But what did we get in terms of world embryo here? Hmm. It's not really that much better than what we've got. Like, the world embryo plus one is just so much better. It's just, it just is. What we do? What was it? What was the one we got? I can't remember now. I like that one because our SP goes up. SP could be quite good, so it's sort of like, hmm. It's like, tough choices there, tough choices. We've got the normal clothes. Passive, passive skills? No, no passive skills at this point. But what else did we get? Let's have a look at the causality link. It's like, where are we? Right, so there is where we are. Okay, so that's unlocking several different ones around the place. Dear, oh dear. Alright then, so let's actually proceed onwards then. No use for inflammation in any of the East classrooms. Hopefully we can learn something on the West side. Indeed, we went an entire part without actually anything happening in terms of learning what was going on. So let's actually try and get here and get these guys. I like how the music sort of like kicks into a gear when you actually get into the battles. It's not like it's um, a new song or anything, just just kicks up. So let's actually go with there. And they're going to do hateful cannons. So then I want to do that, I think. Want as soon as possible, really. Because right, then I'll be out of the way of the other one as well. But then I come back there. Okay, so I want then a chain, a dual trigger. So see how that works. You seem alright in terms of damage, so let's do that. Just wary of the lost soul there. Like, yeah, we arrived after the damage was done, so that's fine. I'll look out for stuff like that after I've had my attack as to what happens. So let's go dual trigger. Right, and then you get the vintage strike. And obviously we want the dual trigger again. Very simple there. Still still confused on this auto in the bottom right. If anybody knows, let, let me know like what we've got to do there. What that what, what's involved in the auto? Ooh, still interrupted it though. That's good. Zendo, the 
Right, so we want Vintage Strike. Well, that just just get the moment. So sort of like right, confirm. Well, that would have been it. Missed on several other things. That's unfortunate. As a result, we're going to get damage for that stupidity. Um, I want to dash then, dash out of the way. And then I want to chain that to get Soul Surge. There. And we'll confirm that. Should be good for me. Should have gone with a defend or something like that at that point. Shouldn't I? Vintage Strike then. And just to be sure we'll get a dual trigger. And dual trigger. Go for it. See, so that missing is an issue if I don't take that into account. Okay, cool. What? Hello? Alright, so are you a special one or something like that? Not entirely sure. So, dual trigger. Because then we go vintage strike. Get you up in time, so then we get a dual trigger. And then we'll confirm that. Should be alright. It's like, gotta think about the idea of like defending at the end of one of these. Because it's just whether or not I can get there in time with like another vintage strike. Dual trigger and a dual trigger. It's like, we are fine there, but it's like. Could defend at the end of like my turns, etc. And that would work in actually quite nicely. Right, so I'll go that way. Definitely reminds me of School Live at this point because of this barricaded area here. If you've seen School Live, that is, you, you'll, you'll know what I'm on about. If not, well, tough, right? I recommend that, by the way. Very interesting. Right? I'm only, I think, three episodes into that. It's like it's just very, very interesting. It's like it's, n it's. I'd, I'd expect that sort of thing from, like, like Sarah, like, she's the one who got me into, like, watching that, so it's sort of like, yeah, that fits with, like, Sarah, etc., like, like, the type of stuff, like, we both liked, etc., so. I can't explain why, because it would potentially be a massive spoiler, but it is, like, it is interesting. Watch episode one. That, this thing, you don't even need to do the, um, three-episode rule with School Live. It's just, watch the first one. And then you'll know if you want to watch it. Simple as that. Right, so we've got you interrupted. Shooty shoot. Job done. I am liking this gameplay. I, I am. It's like I need more skills and stuff like that. And more variables. But generally, it works quite nicely. Just needs a bit more variation with it in future. If it just stays something like this, it's like, that'd be disappointing. Right, so when you get there, it's actually good to do a vintage strike because you'll be in range and like boom. Oh, that's an issue. Okay, so back that up. So and then shadow pierce, and then a vintage strike. See if that works. Hmm, we need the Vintage Strike, that's the question there, because we get rid of the shield, which is spot on, but then do I need that? Like, couldn't I just actually just go with a dual trigger on you? It's just like, it misses, we get the wrist break there. I'm thinking actually, yeah, we'll go with that, because then it interrupts their next skill, so we'll do that. So far, so good. Right, that interrupts their next big skill. Oh dear. See, that's why it's, that's why it's like I'm thinking like I could go with defend here. So we get that on you. That avoids the one behind us as well. And it's sort of like dual trigger on you. And then I'm gonna try just tr just try this idea of like defending. Hmm. Emergency barrier. Let's have a look at that. There's our shield. Hmm. 
yeah, it didn't didn't last long enough in the, on that. That's the only thing. So it's like, okay, may, maybe not that. Um, let's go with just a dual trigger on you then. Seems good to me. It's like, it's gotta think of ways to like avoid stuff like that. I guess it's, we want Vintage Strike. And Singularity Zero. Does that just get interrupted? Yeah, seemingly, seemingly gets interrupted, doesn't it? So it's like, maybe we should just start with that. No, it just gets interrupted. So it's like, hmm... So if I do that... No, they're properly coming at me, aren't they? Because then it's like I can't do Singularity Zero because they've hit me so many times. Yeah, it interrupts it, so it's like, no, can't do that. Okay... Hmm... So I'm thinking, we actually go with Emergency Barrier. Yeah, then we get the Chain Action, Singularity Zero. And I've got the chance for it to go off. Yeah, do that. Got your trigger as well, just in case. I'm very much getting into this combat. I really do like it. Just because it's my thinking, like, I'll try this, I'll try that. I'll, I'll actually come from it from that angle and see what this does, etc, etc. Attack Impulse. Okay, so let's have a look at this new Attack Impulse. Okay, so Confidence. Hmm. Again, I like the idea of more SP, but the amount of attack going down here is a problem. But SP is something to look into, but we'll have a, have a look at that later, and I'll just change things around. So many exclamations and where to go, it's like, hmm... Go this way. I was wondering what the shiny yellow thing was then. I was like, what the hell is that next to me? Oh, yeah, it's Arya. Hello? Hello? Oh, God, it's Lydia. She looks very much like her, like badges all over her, a bag, the hair. It's just very, very similar. I don't trust female student. No, 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 you can't give female student a name. Well, you've set yourself up for a fall by naming her. Now you've made her an important NPC. Stare. そんなことより噂話が好きなんだったらカギピーって人のこと知らない。カギピー最近人気のドールピーの動画サイトなんかでもすごい再生数稼いでますよね。私も生主やってるけど、あそこまではなかなかいいな。と話がずれちゃったカ
be a bit wary. Hmm. See, I knew she'd be trouble. We're hiding quite a lot. No. Kitakubute sonna kakuiga? Probably. なんでも帰宅部って世界の秘密を知ってるって噂ですよ。チラチラ。きっとすっごいかっこいい人たちなんだろうな。そうか。そんなかっこいいか。いいぜ。教えてやんよ。じゃじゃーん。俺たちがその
I was thinking I don't need to run as far away, do I? Just sort of like here. That'd be enough. Okay, so then we get the Soul Surge. Just gotta see what they do next now. Okay, so then chain the action into... This is the thing, it's like, I'd want to use this at this point. So the chain action at that point, then we come over here or something like that. Just gotta run out of the way. See, there's the issue there. It's like, hmm. Um, we'll try that. Like, it doesn't last long enough, though. That's the problem I have. Because then it's disappeared, and you're still going to run up to me. And then, boom. So, hmm. We should do dashing just really far away. Like, just run over there. Let's do that. and you've got to run all the way over here before you do anything. Okay, so we want to go Vintage Strike on you. If that works out nicely, that would be actually be very, very nice. And a dual trigger, what about a dual trigger? Oh, if only it got you up. Cause now it's like I didn't know you were going to do that claw hammer as a result. Alright, so get you there. Alright, that's not going to work, so we go with emergency barrier. Followed by a dual trigger, followed by a dual trigger. Let's see if that works out nicely in this. It doesn't because of the timing. Alright, so boom, boom. Let's move it there. Dual trigger, dual trigger. Let's see if that works. There you go, that works better, doesn't it? Just gotta get the timing on, on these things nicely, because it's like, we can wait, we can have it wait just a little while. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Soul Remnant. What we get then? Hmm, so Aftermath, let's have a look at that. I'm looking there. Which one was it? It was Amplification. Yeah, Aftermath, there we go. Hmm, I'm finishing plus 20. It's like, nah, 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 Again, the music kicking up. I like it, I like it. Alright, so... Go for the level one first. Well, I think it's obvious we go with the Vintage Strike first. Okay, so that's not going to work out in my favour if I do it there. Maybe do a bit later? Maybe that'll change it? I mean, it's Slash, so it's like, I doubt it's going to do anything. Aha! So that works out nicely if that works out my way. You still might get hit by Slash. But it gets all three up. I like that though, so it's worth the damage. Yeah, that worked out nicely, that's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm, gotta think about timing things better with their attacks though. And it's like, okay, Vintage Strike there. Yeah, we would have been there at that point. Okay. It's, really like, it's, it's just like seeing the future after that point, I don't know. Seems alright. Hopefully... Hopefully I can get there before we do it. 
Let's, oh, let me get that again. I'm gonna return back to where I was after. Yep, okay, cool. And then it's very much like just dashing again. Just do it over there. Good, and then move. So, oh dear. Damn. Alright, so I want Vintage Strike there. Yeah, I thought that would actually get you a dual trigger and then a dual trigger. It's gotta be you done. There we go. <laughs> we, we need like more characters and stuff now, like just added a, another layer to it. It would be nice. Ooh, amplification heartbreak. Okay. Heartbreak. Hmm. SP goes down, evasion goes up again. It's like, yeah, evasion, it's like, it specializes in max SP, but our SP goes down quite a bit. So it's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know about that. Right, so. Where are we meant to be progressing to? I assume here. I'm gonna just dodge you for now. So I want to get to story. See a bit more story. Ooh, we got a save point as well, so that'd be perfect, I I think. <laughs> Why is she taking pictures? Is she a boss? <laughs> Give us your phone. Oh, Morita san, Mina san to doko ka ni ikareru desu ka? Are you gonna get a name as well? Yaha, Mizuguchi san. Ima kara kagi pi ni au tame ni 3 nen sei no kyoushitsu ni iku tokoro nan da. Kagi pi san te watashi tachi no klasu ni mo fan no kata ga takusan iru ninki doura pi san desu yo ne. Morita san <laughs> oh yes, and I have been into the menu, etc. There's no auto option from what I can tell. The skip and fast forward, but no auto. Because then I would leave it on until I wanted to speak like this, like in between when they were speaking. So it's like, then I wouldn't interrupt the Japanese, but I can't. So I do apologize for their lack of auto, unless there is one and it's just not telling me. If you do know what it is, please do let me know. ひょっとしてまたモリタさんが迷惑かけてますかうんうん。鍵ピンのところに案内してもらってるだけよ。それよりあなたは私、モリタさんのクラスメイトで、水口マリエと言います。マリー。You're asking a lot. I suppose. Well, I was going to end the part actually after this and then go off and like do the battles that are around the place so I don't have to bother doing them at the start of the next part. You know, alright. And then we'll progress upwards. Now loading? No. I, I wanted to do things. I had a plan. We made it. The third floor. So our destination should be... Hmm? Where's that Morita girl? Huh? The broadcast room should be right on the other side of this hallway. Why is the door locked today? I guess he's not gonna make it this easy. It'll be the long way round, but let's try the hallway on the other side. Right, so, like I was sort of saying, I'm going to end this part here. I'm going to go back downstairs, maybe. I mean, there's a save point over there, so I don't, I don't know. And I'm going to go off and try and do all the battles I can before the next scene. Like, all around the place. Because it's like, I want the XP and stuff. But it's like, we've seen enough of this area right now. It's like, it's, we know how the gameplay works. we just got to really get ready for the actual 
next next block of gameplay. Like when stuff should change up is the best way of putting it. Like we get new combat details, new people join, something like that. So it's something to stir it up a little. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.